Hey everybody, we're back with another um, Process Shots episode. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about the kind of way that I approach uh, from going from the idea to the script. Um, this is kind of just an overview of how I write my comic book scripts and how I basically plan everything out. It's really simple. This won't be a long video. Uh, mostly because my scripts are embarrassingly simple. Let's get right to it. So, um, we're back on this page that I started with when I was talking about the idea. Um, it's kind of actually kind of cool. So, I was wanting to kind of like do a video of me like writing the script and like talking about it while I was writing it, but then I found out that that's basically impossible to do. Um, when I'm writing scripts, even though they look simple, I'm like my brain is going so hard. Uh, or at least that's what it feels like, and I just cannot focus on anything like being in a video uh, or, or thinking about anything else except a project at hand. So here we are in Google Docs, which allows you to edit, um, which is pretty awesome. It shows like all the different edits now. This obviously I did this a long time ago. I've been trying to find time to do a video of how I make the script for a while, so I guess we're like kind of going back in time here, but whatever. Okay, so we got, uh, this is basically uh, what I left with. Um, maybe more, so something if we go to like June 14th, uh, man, June 5th, let's see. Cleaning up drum set, you're my best friend, Johan. Murder Falcon drinks a ton of beer. Stormer finds her love of music once again. Okay, so we go over to June 14th here. I, as you can see, I'm kind of just adding little things. What have you done? They're vintage. Uh, and then now, now see, I've started adding, let's see here. Okay. So here I started adding little pieces of the script. So when it comes down to script making, I am thinking of the visual of the page in my head before I even put words down. Um, most of the time I'll have a little bit of a description of what's actually happening, but this was so clear in my head and the story was so simple that I just basically started doing dialogue immediately. Um, so this guitar sales guy is like yelling at them. Um, you can't play that here, Shopper. But, and the Shopper is actually me. I put myself in the comic. Look, we got a list. None of these th things can be played in the store. Now this made it through to the final draft. Uh, this is as far as I got. <laughs> And I guess I took a break. I don't know what happened. So here we're at June 16th, and I have a little bit more. Okay. Okay. We got a list. None of these things can be played in the store. And then the shopper, I'm thinking like the shopper's like looking behind the sales guy going like, uh, what's that? Have no fear. Shoppers of the X. We are here to rescue you. So I'm basically like finding ways to like up the ante on myself, and I'm I'm leaving it. If I'm not feeling it, I leave and I come back. Obviously, if you're under a deadline, you don't have this luxury, but um, I don't know. I found in writing that you can't really force it. And as much as it may uh, stress out editors, uh, if the story's not working right, I just need to sit on it for just a little bit longer until it makes sense to me. So uh, let's see. So we got page two. So I'm imagining that Jake's coming out of the um, of the the van that they drove through, right? And I probably should have wrote, written this down, but this is how much it, it's already in my head. Um, usually I would say, Shopper, like, oh, what's that? And then I would write something like, Murder Falcon and Jake drive through the store um, window uh, in, the va in their van and land... They hop out and are ready to fight. And Jake has the shred detector, this thing that identifies monsters. The shred detector says we're close. You just trashed my shop. Do not fret, my friend. The sacrificed axes will live on in the heavy. I like that line. And then Murph, we're right on top of it. And I, this is all 
you know, I'm riffing here, okay? And I kind of like know kind of what I want to do. And I'm just doing my best here. And I also remember that I thought I had more time to make this story than I actually did. So I was like starting to just draw and thumbnail and basically adding uh, like words as I went. This isn't, man, this is not a great how-to video because this like doesn't make any sense, but all right, this is June 16th. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Does this video even work? I don't know. Uh, what happened on the 16th later? Okay. So here I still thought that at the end of the story, the drum set would be gotten and they were going to have to clean it up from monster guts. But I remember that so I didn't have any time to work on the script, so I just had to start drawing the pages. And I was working on it as I was going, and I was realizing, you know, I really don't like the ending. And it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel like it was hitting the right tone or moment. And this cleaning up drum set, the destroy, all this stuff, just the whole vibe, uh, wasn't feeling right. So I was kind of stuck, and I was actually like drawing the first few pages, not knowing how I was going to end it. Um, let's see what I do here. Page four, Jimmy's drum set. I found it. Hang on, Murph. I'm coming down. And then Johan shows up off panel. And you know, I moved the queen reveal drum set to... Yep, nope, I kept it there. Um, page five, big panel of Johan. Sorry, got off work late. Just in time. Did we find it? Jake smiles. And okay. Mm, I just moved all the stuff I didn't like down. Okay, here's where I figured it out. June 22nd. Page 6 is just a big fight page. Page 7, Joseph's is beer. So here I'm kind of talking it out to myself. This is before I drew it. Joseph's is beer, Joe. That's what those days felt like. And then, so, basically, I turned the scene into just a straight, this is what happened scene, into a reminiscing scene by Johan, who is struggling with the fact that he's lost his best friend in the main story. Um, and he starts talking over the scene here, and that's it came to me, I was like, what if, this is in Johan's mind. He's re re recollecting this. And then what is a celebratory issue turns into a bit of a celebratory mourning issue, like a remembrance issue. And this became kind of like a sad scene, but, uh, you know, not like hopeless sad, but like a good sad, I guess. Healthy sad. Um, if Jake was here, what were you wanting us to do? So... I've decided to put all the remaining band members in like Johan's basement and they're all kind of hanging out eating pizza and feeling kind of down and Jimmy their drummer says if Jake was here what would you want us to do right now on Johan page eight band plug center instruments one by one so there's no dialogue here I'm just literally it's like this is what's going to happen and then I knew that I could make that whole page work um, and here were the notes for Russ Wooten and a little bit of editing here man okay well I thought that this would be more informative but really it just I know I'm gonna watch this back and it's just gonna be like the rantings of a crazy person I guess if you take one thing away from here it's that the script is flexible it's way more flexible than the art so however much you can work out during this script process the better i had to go through a few different revisions to get to this final version and we'll go through the art i'll do like a little director's commentary on the final art and kind of show you how i got there um in a later video but for now it's like the eighth Things to take away, things don't have to be, things to take away, number one, a story does not have to be complicated to be good, it just doesn't. Number two, um, don't be afraid to be yourself, 
in the story, I guess, because this is just all me and nothing else. And three, I have no idea. Uh, look, I okay, I didn't have any time to make this when I started it. And I finally just, because of deadlines, I was like, I just have to start going. And that video of before of me, like just typing out that outline, that was me just riffing. Like I had literally nothing. Um, so it's really hard when you're looking at a blank page, but it is possible. You just got to do it and just not think. And then the editing and all the good stuff will come later. I promise. Okay. That's it. All right. We're done. Have a good day.